new videos every day. Hello and welcome back everybody. Here I've got Kaylee with me again today. And today we're going to focus a little bit on headaches. Because okay. in our past video she mentioned that she had been having some problems with headaches. Yes. So can you tell me a little bit about what your headache is like? Uh, I get chronic migraine mm -hmm. headaches uh, about once a month and it's just completely debilitating. Mm. Like. There's no going out, no noise, no sound, uh, no, you know, no colors, nothing. It just... That sounds yeah. really awful. <laughs> yeah. and, and what do you do when, when you're in the middle of a headache like that? What do you do? Um, I usually black out the windows and crawl into bed and mm -hmm. try to go to sleep until it goes away. And just try. And it's, mm -hmm. is it a pounding? Yeah, it's a, pound, it's a lot of pressure mm -hmm. and um, sounds are amplified. Light is way too much and I sure. just need to sort of block out all external... Um, stimuli. So at least, goes away. at least once a month out of the mm -hmm. year, you're pretty much out of the picture. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Has it happened that that once a month happens on things that you want to do and you, you, there's things you want to go do? Of course, it, right? Uh, it, there's always things that I want to go do or that I need to and go just do. Can't. And I just can't. That's right. So. <laughs> so if you could get rid of these, that would be pretty helpful, right? Yes, it would be absolutely helpful. Well, chiropractic is actually very good for handling migraine headaches, and I'm going to explain to you why today. First of all, migraine headaches can be caused by a number of things, but one of them is nerve pressure in the spine. Now, you mentioned that you get these once a month. Do mm -hmm. they coincide with your cycle at all? No, no. not usually. It's, um, it's sporadic. It's about once a month. It's happened. It, I mean, it can happen twice a month or once every other month, but I it's gotcha. pretty much... That's you know, the at average. Least, yeah, at least one time a month I, okay. get, I end up with a migraine. Have you ever noticed that, or have you been ever to, able to tie your headaches to anything that you ate? Uh, no, I've actually never really thought about it. Though. Okay, all right. One of the things that might be helpful for you to do, well, let me ask you this first of all. Do, okay. you, um, do you ever know when the headache's fixing to come on? Mm -hmm. Okay, how does that manifest itself? I can just, it, it's like a creep up from the back of my neck and mm -hmm. I can tell that I'm going to I'm going to have a migraine okay. start to get a little bit nauseous things sounds start to amplify ever so slightly and I can tell that there's one coming on I see. so and so you kind of know with like the pressure back here and, and and how long ahead of time do you know um I can usually predict it by about an hour an hour and mm -hmm. it seems to come from your neck then doesn't it yeah yeah Okay, so that's exactly what we were talking about. A lot of migraine problems can stem from in the in the neck area. Now, on the other video, we examined her neck and we found out that she has what we call a subluxation, which is a misaligned vertebra in the neck. It could have been caused by one of the myriad of uh, automobile accidents that Kaylee had in her history, in her past. She never really knew she was hurt, but apparently, you know, she does have some bones out of the out of the right place in the neck area. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So when you have a pinched nerve up in your neck, it's really a matter of just taking the pressure off of the off of the nerve. And when that happens, the patient's going to get a lot of relief. So we've already checked her reflexes. We found that those are normal. That's good. We've already checked her hand sensitivity. She does have a little bit of slight numbness in one hand, which can indicate that there's a pinched nerve up in here. I've already palpated her felt of her neck and she's got some definite tenderness and maybe a little bit of spasm going on up in the neck area. So Kaylee, with your permission, I'll show you what it's like to get that adjusted. Would that be all right with you? Yes, that would be all great. All right, lay, lay here on your back for me. Okay. So here we are with Miss Kaylee and we're going to feel of her neck here. And we can just, when I feel of it, I can just feel one of the vertebrae that's actually rotated in her neck. There's some slight, slight swelling around this area. And when I put a little, just a light pressure there, Kaylee, what does that feel like? It's definitely sensitive. It's, I can feel it's it. It's definitely sensitive, um, but yeah. not so over on this side, right? Yeah. So one side of her neck will be real tender. She might not have even noticed it unless I would have touched it. Uh, but but it's kind of like if you had a cut or a burn on your arm, it may not even hurt at all until you touch it. And then all of a sudden you know that there's a problem there. So that's the, kind of the way it is with this as well. So with in her case, the vertebra is rotated to one side. So we're just going to gently turn her neck like this and then just make a slight adjustment just like that. Kaylee, how did that feel? <laughs> that felt, uh, again, awesome. Really good. <laughs> Very just... good. Very good. Instantaneous relief. Good. And turn this way. Little click here for me. Good. Perfect. Wow. 
Now, I can usually tell when, when adjusting a person's neck how well they're going to respond to care. Now, all of the vertebrae in her neck, the bones in the spine there, move wonderfully. So I anticipate that she's going to respond very, very favorably to care. If somebody has let their spinal condition go on and on and on for years, it can actually cause the spine to start to fuse together or develop arthritis in it. That's going to take a little bit longer to, to fix, if it can be fixed at all. So often addressing these issues relatively quickly is always in the patient's best interest. All right, you want to sit up for me and mm -hmm. let me know how you're feeling there. Okay, so Kaylee, we just adjusted your neck, mm -hmm. and that was your under, I understand that was your very first adjustment ever, yes, right? Ever. <laughs> and, and how did that go for you? That felt great. Um, just the pressure release was instantaneous, and when I was sitting up, actually, you you touched that same spot on my neck, and it's not as sensitive because when you were feeling out. Um, right there before it was just like a light touch and I could definitely feel right what you were pushing on. So, and it's not nearly as sensitive as it was about two minutes ago. Very good. Really neat. Very good. <laughs> well, of course, that's exactly what the doctor wants to see is the patient responding well to care, which uh, Kaylee certainly is. So that's it for today. Thank y'all. If you uh, would like more information, please feel free to go to my website, www.jeffeckles.com. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.